During the Second World War, a huge number of war crimes were committed by the various different armies who fought during the conflict. Inside of concentration camps, many of the atrocities were committed by the Nazis, with huge-scale massacre and murder taking place. The SS were the ones who were involved in running the killing operations, but inside one concentration camp, the shooting of one man was a pivotal moment that highlighted the true evils of the Nazi regime. The execution of August Dickmann took place on the 15th of September 1939 at Sachsenhausen concentration camp, and it saw the first conscientious objector of the Second World War executed. It was the future commandant of Auschwitz, Rudolf Hurst, who would be the one in charge of the execution that day, and he would be the one who gave Dickmann a coup de grace. But what is the story behind this? Join us today as we look at the brutal execution of August Dickmann, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Born in 1910, August Dickmann was a Jehovah's Witness. He became the first executed conscientious objector of the Second World War, and little is known about his life. As Hitler seized power, there were certain religious groups that he and his Nazi party looked down upon. In 1938, with Germany heading towards conflict in the Second World War, to suppress criticism of the party and of the leadership, the Wehrkraft's Ersetzung was enacted. This was a decree issued by the government that attempted to suppress any expression of resistance against the Nazi party's leadership and also the Wehrmacht. A second decree was issued in 1939 which extended the crimes to civilians. Under this decree, conscientious objectors in particular were often convicted of Wehrkraftsetzung alongside other charges. This was done in order to ensure that their influence and negative ideas about the war would not spread to others. Because of this, many Jehovah's Witnesses also found themselves in front of judges and were eventually sent to concentration camps for their resistance to join the army and fight. When Hitler ordered men to join the Wehrmacht in preparation for war, conscientious objectors would of course refuse, and he saw this as an attack against his government and for this ordered punishment. It was considered a form of subversion to the war effort and the Nazis, and this in Hitler's eyes was not tolerated. To be a conscientious objector was seen in comparison with crimes such as desertion from the Wehrmacht's ranks, and the way Hitler treated these people who abstained from the conflict due to their religious convictions was very shocking. For Jehovah's Witnesses, it was seen as a Christian duty to be in subjection to the superior government's authorities, but when they try to transgress God's laws and rules, they follow the example of Jesus' disciples who said, we must obey God as ruler rather than men. So they followed God rather than Hitler, and people like Dickmann pursued peace, rather than the Nazis choosing to aggressively invade other countries. August Dickmann was arrested in October 1936, was transported to Sachsenhausen in October 1937. He had been incarcerated alongside his brother Heinrich. They were held initially in the camp as political prisoners, but as the Second World War broke out, those men who were refusing to fight were treated terribly. The Jehovah's Witnesses were forced to assemble at the entrance of the camp. August Dickmann yet again refused to conduct military service. With this, the commandant of the camp asked Heinrich Himmler to confirm the death sentences of Dickmann and those men who continued to refuse to fight. On the 15th of September 1939, August's death sentence had been confirmed, and his brother and the other prisoners were told to finish work early, and a camp elder told Heinrich that his brother was to be shot that day. It was said that all of the prisoners were ordered to stand at attention near the firing range, and there were about 350 to 400 witnesses to the shootings. It was said, as we were brought out into the main camp, opposite the main entrance, we saw a mound of earth to catch the bullets, and a few piles of sand in front of it. Next to it stood a black box. The helmeted SS were carrying machine guns, then my brother, August Dickman, was brought with his hands manacled and placed in front of the mound of earth. Now the camp commander spoke over the loudspeaker. He said, The prisoner, August Dickman, from Dinslaken, born January the 7th, 1910, refuses military service because he is a citizen of the kingdom of God. He says, He who sheds man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. Thus he has set himself apart from the community 
and is to be shot, as ordered by Reichsfuhrer SS Himmler. Turning to my brother, the commandant said, Turn around, you pig. Then he gave the command to fire. My brother, with his face to the mound of earth, was shot by three SS officers. After he collapsed, the camp official, a higher SS officer, went to him and put a bullet through his head. Now the handcuffs were taken off, and four of his Christian brothers laid him in a black box. It was Rudolf Hess, the man who would go on to be the commandant of Auschwitz, who fired his pistol into Dickmann's head after the initial gunshots were fired. Hess would go on to be the one responsible for the huge killing operation in Auschwitz, which resulted in the deaths of over one million people inside the largest killing centre of the Holocaust. August Dickmann's brother ended up surviving the Second World War, but after his killing, the Jehovah's Witnesses inside of the camp were transported to Wevelsberg concentration camp, and later sent to other places such as Buchenwald. August Dickmann's execution marked the first conscientious objector to be killed for their beliefs inside of a concentration camp, and it showed the brutality of the Nazi party. It was a sadistic act, in killing someone who genuinely believed for their religious beliefs, that fighting in the conflict of the Second World War, for the Nazis, was wrong and against God. August Dickman is remembered today for being the first conscientious objector executed during World War II. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.